I'll wait here. You, uh, uh, you bastard! Are you blind? What are you doing here? <laughs> Looking for Chan Kuei. Do you know where he is? Huh? Are you in fact Chan Kuei? What's it to you? Are you the guy that robbed that gold from that banker? Huh? How did you know that? Who the hell are you? <laughs> My name is Fong. Fong see you. That banker happens to be a good friend of mine. Fong, see you? young girl. Me cause your death. Huh? You bastard! How dare you cut a hair and insult me? Who are you? My name's Fong. Fong Si Yu. He's my friend. Master, he, he's fun to you. I don't care who he is. Just get him out of here. Huh? <laughs> I'd like to stay. Master, if Fung to you says he wants to stay here, no one can get rid of him. I, if he stays, you go. Huh? Hmm? Huh? Huh? Uh, if he stays. I go. Hey, what are you looking at? Why don't you get him? Drag him out of here and kill him. You hear? Hey, old man, that fellow was right. If Fang Xiu wants to stay here, no one can get rid of him. Fang Xiu is one of the country's young heroes. He's as agile as a deer and just as fast. There is no one who dares offend him, except for one lone fighter, a man named the Great Kao Li. Don't move! My name's Kao. Kao Li. Kao Li? The great Kao Li? That's correct. We are not enemies. Why do you hurt my men? Your men here can all fight, but they're bad men. Besides, 
Master Lee, I've heard it said, you're the best fighter in the North. <laughs> I've yet to meet my match, Carly. Fine. I'd like to test you. I think... Master Lee, don't be annoyed. When I've made up my mind to beat someone, I make sure that I do just that. <laughs> But he likes to pit his skill against other Kung Fu masters. His aim is to become the world's number one Kung Fu expert, which is why he went to find Pong Si Yu. Hello. You after some cash? Huh. You've no money. <laughs> well, if you know that I'm broke, what do you want with me? We're not enemies or rivals. I'm just after a trial match. A match? Oh, <laughs> I see now. You're that guy who's gone a bit mental. The guy who fights with everyone. The great Kao Lee. I'm Kao Lee, but I'm normal. I have no reason hmm, to fight. Now, so if I want to fight, so should you. Kao Lee, if I say no contest, I mean no contest. I'm sorry. I'm always forcing people to do things they don't like. <laughs> The great Kali fights pretty well. I'm Fungsi Yu. It's not too bad either. Hold it. What are those people doing over there? You fool. There's no one there. Ah! Kali, you should use your brain a bit more. <laughs> Fungsi Yu, I'll beat you one day. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Liu, mm -hmm. I warned you yesterday, no one permitted to work here unless they have our permission. Now, don't you listen to what I tell uh, you? Master Tao, I try my best to follow your orders, but you know those fellows there rely on this work they do to support their families. It's not fair to refuse them work. <laughs> hmm. Well, you're very foolish to disobey the master's orders, aren't you? Nonsense! Your master is a vampire! He has no right to stop us. I know he wants to finish it off. Mr. Liu. Mr. Liu, 
I'll give you three days. Nida. By that time, you still don't agree. You found my men even less polite than they are now. Right. Come on. Mr. Lou. Uh -oh. Mr. Lou. Mr. Chad Trum Way is here. Oh, Mr. Chang, <laughs> welcome, welcome. Uh, please come in. Mr. Tao, please drop that pretense. Where is Mr. Chow? Oh, Mr. Chow's a very busy man. Uh, please sit down. Uh, have some tea. <laughs> so Mr. Chow's busy. Well, then so am I. Mr. Chow? The master! Mr. Tao. Sir. Mr. Chiang is our guest. Why don't you let him sit down? Huh? Well, Master, he said that he... Uh... <laughs> Mr. Chow, there's no point in trying to impress me. I came here for a discussion. You've been interfering with some of my workmen. Tell me why. Mr. Chiang, my purpose is obvious. I wish to take over your business. Mr. Chow. My men must work or they starve. Mr. Chiang, I have given my orders. And I'll not be beaten. Hmm. Well, you have to kill me first. Don't move. Huh? Mr. Chiang. No one can leave without my permission. and destroy their business.
half a mile and you'll be in Canton. Oh. <sighs> Thank you, Missy. That's all right. <laughs> Why'd you bite me? You're all mad dogs. What do you want? We're gonna kill you now. You want to challenge me? Mad dogs. <laughs> You've bitten the wrong guy. I don't know anyone surnamed Chow. I've come to see my uncle, Chiang Chung Wei. Well, who are you? Fong Si Yu. You're Fong Si Yu? So you've heard the name before. Do you still want to fight? Oh, no. Si Yu. You haven't changed. <laughs> Just as I remember. Your father was a sworn brother of mine. We were so close. I never thought he would die before me. Uncle, I've come to avenge his death. Tiger Lai, so I thought I'd come here to see you. Chao Pao has just employed some men. He's scared I'll take revenge. Who's he got to help him? He's engaged four fighters. Each one is known throughout the country for his skill. The first one is the flying axe Wong Kang. His first axe has never missed his target. In all the fights that he's had, he never had to use the second axe. The second is a playboy from the south called Chang Li Wu. His family were fishermen. And his main weapon is a poisonous net. It's said that he has killed four tough opponents at the same time. The third is a well-known murderer, Shi Yi Tao. I was told in one recent fight, he killed seven top young fighters within a few minutes. The fourth man is known as Wai Ting Chung. He is the best of Chao Pao's fighters. He's always with Chao Pao, 
except when he's practicing Kung Fu. With these four men guarding him, we just can't get near to him. It's impossible. I know we'd be defeated. <laughs> Don't be so certain. All we need is perseverance. Chi Yu, can you help us? To get Chao Pao, I'll have to get into his house. Oh, no, 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 no. It's too dangerous. You cannot fool Chao Pao. He's not that dumb. Besides, to get to him, you have to kill the four fighters first. Uncle, if Fang Shi Yu says he'll do it, nothing will stop him. I think I'm getting old. Xi Yu, we already have a spy in there. Anytime you need help, put a flower near the door. He'll contact you. <laughs> hey, hey, over here. I'm not sure about this. Hey, take that. Uh, yes, and that? Sure. Yeah. And that, that? Uh, yeah. Bring this. Let me hide under that heap of straw. Please help me. Uh, but, sir, if they should find you there, are they likely to kill me? Oh, no. Don't say a word. Then they won't find me. That's, That's right. They're coming. Come over here. Uh, he can't have disappeared. Come on. Oh. I'll repay you later. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey, remember not to tell him. Yeah, okay. Over here. Have you seen a middle-aged man running around here? <laughs> Was it a guy with a mole on his mouth? Uh, yeah, that's him. Have you seen him? Where is he? Uh, 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 the wall. Uh, Come on! <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. What's your name? I, uh... <laughs> I'm called Chang Xiaoliang. Chang Xiaoliang? Where are you from? Uh, uh, I, 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 I'm from around here. Mr. Chen, he's an orphan. He's honest and reliable, so I brought him back to help you out. <laughs> well then, there's a lot to do at the moment. So tell him he can do some odd jobs around the house. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chen. Uh, hang on. No! Wait. This pair of shoes is for our mistress. Please take them. Uh, 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 yes. Uh, uh. Now, mistress lives behind the house, right? Salian, do a good job, and you might be promoted. Uh, thank you for your help, sir. Mm. Thank you. Dusk descends on the stream. Too drunk to find the way. The boat drifts off course into the deep rushes. You row, you row, 
the bird's surprise, fly off. <laughs> Mistress? Huh? Mistress? Hey, you. Who are you? How dare you rush me? Uh, my lady, I am a newcomer here. Mr. Chin told him to bring the shoes here. Ah, <laughs> uh, give them here. <laughs> hey, if you ever come here again, you must get permission first or someone might break your leg. Yeah, it won't happen again. Get back to work. Uh, yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we have you. to get back quick. <laughs> Master is treating all the men who brought back the provisions tonight. You bought everything? Everything. Okay. You must be tired. The master's waiting inside for you. This way. Mm. Stupid bastard. Master, Master Chow. Chow. Did everything go smoothly? Yes, sir. No problems. We got all the provisions. No one gave us trouble. That's good. It's not surprising they didn't. Excuse me, master. Someone outside wants to see you. Who is this fella? A killer. You really got some guts. Nobody has ever dared to walk up to me as you've done. Pastor Char, there's nothing in this world that Carl Lee dares not do. Oh? The great Carl Lee. You've become quite famous. Why have you come here? To see you. Because you've need of me. Huh? 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 Kali. Why should I need you? Because you need good men. Having one more friend beats having one more enemy. If the friend was no good, then I'd disagree. We'll be good friends. Seven. Yeah. Bring us some tea. <laughs> Master, having Mr. Cow's help is a great boost for us. Ah, but everyone must pitch in and help. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely true. We must do our bit. <laughs> What are you doing? Master, your young servant. He looks like someone. Oh. Who's that? <laughs> he looks like... Like a useless cousin that I have. Oh? <laughs> <laughs> Huh? I'm 
Okay, but don't make trouble, huh? Brother Lou, I wanted to leave that place, Chinchu, so I came here to ask you if you'd put me up. We are sworn blood brothers. Of course I will. Besides, we need good men here. Go have a rest first. I'll take you to the master later. Uh, Mr. Lou! <laughs> And a Lu. <laughs> Chang Tao Ling, it's now midnight. Where are you off to? Didn't Master Chow inform you? No one's allowed out at night. Uh, I was just feeling depressed. Uh, uh, I just came out for a walk. I, uh, I'll go back to my room now. Uh, Don't move. Come over and look at Master Han. He'll be living here from now on. You must treat him with respect. Uh, uh, we've met before. My name's Fong. Fong C. U. We've looked everywhere. We can't find him. Tianjin. Mm hmm? Who do you think killed them? No one would dare make trouble here, except for Chang Chong Wei and his men. Hmm. Wang Kang. Sir! Take some men and go find Chang. Kill them all! Yes, Master! Right! Go to the city and buy some funeral gear. We must bury Lou and men. Yes, sir. I'll go now. <laughs> if you want to live, tell me where Chang Chung Wei is hiding. No way! Tell me you've never heard of Wong Kang's flying axe. I never miss my target. <laughs> what? Huh? Chen Ling? No. My name's Fong Si Yu. Fong Si Yu? Was it you who killed Lu and Han then? That's right. Wong Kang? You're not only a massive brute, you've also got some brains. I'm told that when Fong Sir Yu wants something, nothing at all can stop him. <laughs> I was told that Wang Kang has never had to use his second axe. I wonder if this time you'll get what you want, or I'll have to use my second axe. <laughs> Luck has always been on my side. It's been on my side, too. Just to use your second act. You. One act. You should have had more sense. I told you to lose. Yeah.
So, go and buy the funeral things. I'm gonna deal with all of them. Back just in time. Take these cakes to Our Lady. She's waiting for them. <laughs> Careful. Uh, yes, sir. You want it? Huh? Uh, master, you 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 shouldn't. I'm, I'm not allowed to. <laughs> I don't care about that. <laughs> you will do exactly what I tell you to. <laughs> I, I tell you to eat. Why don't you eat it? No. If you refuse to eat it, you'll insult me! <laughs> now you must fight me as a punishment. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Clark, let me ask this time. How can I fight with you? Your Kung Fu is so good. I'm just a weakling. <laughs> you can't win a fight with Kung Fu. Once in a while, you gotta use your brain. <laughs> <laughs> Master, I'm an idiot. Please, please forgive me. That's enough. Act like a man. Stop whining like that. <laughs> so Liang, cow is right. Don't be a coward. You fight. Don't back out. Now, get up and fight. Yeah, yeah. come on. Get up and fight. Please, all of you, fight. forgive me. I can't. I, I, I'm afraid. I, uh... Are you a man? <laughs> Act like one. Whoa, whoa. Oh, don't kill me! Spare me! Enough! Don't see you. Your disguise is very good, and you're a good actor. Golly, stop picking on me. Leave me alone. Don't see you. If you refuse to fight with me, I'll tell the boss who you are. You bastard. Get up. Fight back! Master, be merciful and let me go. Will you fight with me? Ali, when I say no, I mean no. All right, then I'll expose you. Okay. Get up! Get up, come on, get up, get up, get up. Get up. Listen, all of you. He is, in fact, the famous... Bastard Xiao Lang. <laughs> Thank you. Don't worry. I know a way to make you fight. Huh? <laughs> Call me. My lady. Why are you bullying this servant? My lady, I just wanted to teach him a lesson. Call me. He's one of our servants. If he does wrong, we'll deal with him. I'm sorry, my lady. Excuse me. Right, come on. Okay, okay, come okay on. right, yeah. Uh, thank you, my lady, for saving me. Chao Chu, do something to help him. Yes, mistress. Master, master, 
Master. Mr. Tao, what on earth's the matter? Mr. Wong, he's dead. <laughs> You were me. What now? Hey, Master, that's easy. We just search everywhere. I don't believe Chan can hide for long. I didn't ask you. Tian Chung, tell me. I would set a trap for Chang and his men. <laughs> Come at last. Key Dao, watch yourself. You're gonna meet the same fate as Wong Kang. <laughs> now, B, it's you. <laughs> so you fell for it. This is where you're gonna die. Huh? You lot are just hopeless. Do you think you can kill me? Fight! Well, if they can't, I can. Huh. Huh. Chang Xiaolin. Huh? Sure you don't. You really are dumb. His name's Feng Xiyu. Feng Xiyu? Oh, so everything was arranged by you. That's right. You are a smart guy. Feng Xiyu? I have to agree, you've got patience. You've taken a lot of knocks and insults from them. Huh. I don't mind a bit. We should have found you a long time ago. Gee, you know, don't blame yourself. You couldn't have guessed my real identity. I knew I'd beat you in the end. It looks like this is the time for you to die. Hide! <laughs> Hey! 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 Hey!
We must find someone who understands them. That's right. First there is you, and then me. I it's a traitor who knows our movements intimately. Fong Ziyu. How did you kill Wong Kang and Xie Yidao? Huh. How do you know I did it? Only you could have done it. Fong Ziyu. Why have you worked your way in here? What is it you want? Just after money? I don't understand you. Maybe it's Charles' daughter you want. I've never heard of Fong Xiu being bewitched by a girl. Kali, if you're so certain, why haven't you told Chao Pao? Because I haven't fought you. I don't want anybody else to kill you. Kali, I refuse to fight with you. Huh. Things are different now. If you still refuse to fight, I'll expose you to Chao Pao. I tell you, I've never told a lie in my life. Kali, today at noon, I'll wait at the hill. A hero or a fool? Heroes and fools are sometimes hard to tell apart. Why do you want to fight me so much? I told you. When I want something, I get it. Oh, yeah? Well, then you are a fool. Hmm. Call me what you like. But as I told you, today I will defeat you. be friends. No, thank you. I don't want you as a friend. Why is that? Then I'd have to help get you out of trouble. <laughs> You're really a mean bastard. <laughs> Master, do you want to see our lady? Get out of my way. Uh, Master, my lady told me to wait here for you. Huh? You bastard. I know that our lady would not ask you to wait here for me. Master, if you don't believe what I say, go and ask her yourself. But don't you blame me if you ruin the whole thing. Huh? huh? Hey, Sal Young, don't be angry. Don't be angry. I know you're one of her close attendants. I should keep in touch with you. Oh, do you have any message for me from Our Lady? Master, if you should ever get to become Master Chow's son-in-law, you please don't forget the things I've done for you. Oh, of course I won't. Hey, what did Our Lady say? Tell me quick. Uh, Our Lady said she will meet you 
at midnight tonight near the temple, and she wants to talk to you. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I never dreamt I would ever be this lucky. A girl like this one is hard to find. But I have managed to catch her. What's going on here? I've been waiting over two hours now. What's wrong? Isn't she coming? Uh, master, are you getting a bit impatient? Nonsense. I don't like waiting around in a place like this. If anyone should see me, they would think I'd gone crazy. <laughs> master, actually, I think it's quite a nice place. Just right for a burial. Damn servant. How dare you talk to me like that? I'll break your legs if you're not careful. Master, in fact, I should be more exact. I should have said that this is a good place to bury a lecherous toad like yourself. That's about what I mean. Damn you! You bastard! How dare you say such a thing? To a man in my position. <laughs> Master, there is nothing funky you dare not do. God damn you! I'm going to get you! Huh? Who did you just say you were? <laughs> Fong. Right. It was me who killed Wang Kang, and she eat up. And now, it is your turn. Damn you! Fong see you. You played the part well. Your disguise was inspired. But I'm willing to bet my life that you can't kill me. Right? But I'm afraid you might lose. Hi! that everyone gets their just desserts. Shang Li Wu, it's your own fault. You should have used your brains. Uh, uh, uh. 
Chuck, we've searched the whole village now. We can't find the murderer. Keep on searching. I know he's in the village. And he's somewhere here. tell you that my kung fu is known the world over. I'm the best there is. <laughs> my friend, your kung fu is very good. You're also brave. But I still don't quite understand. You killed Wong Kang, Shi Yi Dao, and also Chang Li Wu. You should have known I'd be ready. Why do you still risk your life? Except for now. You've never left Chao Pao's side. So I thought I should try. Huh. You sure you can kill me? Nearly. My friend, you're too confident. Wei Tin Chung. I'm not confident, but I'm gonna kill you today. You're not good enough. My friend, it's you who'll die tonight. <laughs> My friend, just face the facts. Why not take off the mask? Let everyone see just what you are made of.
because it's not yet time for me to fight. Golly, you two. Uh, he found you. Uh, uh, I'm a friend of his. Get out of here, quick. What about you? I remember you said you wouldn't risk your life for me. I wouldn't risk my life for you. But I'd be willing to get hurt to save you. Crazy scoundrel, everyone's busy outside and you're still asleep in here. So long. Why don't you go and help them? Uh, Mr. Chin, I, uh... Fong to you. Put your clothes on. Mr. Chin. I saw your flower near the door. Uh, Mr. Chin, so you were the spy that Uncle Chang told me about. If it wasn't me, you would have got in here. You'd had no chance to kill Wong Kang and show you down. What's more, if I'd not started the fire, you'd have been unable to escape. Yes, but you've worked for Chow for over 10 years. Why'd you do it? 10 years ago, Chang Chung Wei saved my life. Even then, Chow Pao was getting ambitious. So he told me to get a job here. Why did you put the flower pot near the door? Is there anything that I can do for you? The master's here. <laughs> There's been too much trouble recently. Master thinks the killer's hiding in the village. For the good of everyone, I'd like you to cooperate. Last night, the killer received an injury on his chest. So we'll now see whose chest has a wound on it. So 
Don Chen, it's you. <laughs> Master Tom, it's not me. I'm not the killer. I'm not the killer. <laughs> Nonsense. This wound on your chest is where you were hit last night by Master Chow. Do you deny it? <laughs> Master, it's not me. Master, it's not me. I've been framed. Well, tell me how you got the wound. <laughs> Master Chow, I really don't know. I was all right yesterday. But when I woke up, I found that I was wounded. <laughs> <laughs> Well then, Master, we finally dealt with the killer, huh? <laughs> it's not Jenks, not the killer. Huh? What? Why'd you kill him? There's a chance it was him, but he wouldn't have the guts. Tell them all to take their shirts off. Come on, you lot, take your shirts off. You heard him. Come on. Don't move. If anyone runs off, I'll kill him. Your shirts off. Come on, quickly! Get them out! Come on! to bed quite early last night. I went to sleep. Uh, when I woke up, I uh, found that I'd been wounded. Ah! Wong Du. Master. And you? Just the same as Chin Yung. I went straight to sleep after I had dinner. I prepared the dinner for you. It was, uh, uh, it was... against me. Tell me why. You looked after me for 12 years, but I still owe my life to Chang Chung Wei. I... I... I'm sorry. I... Who the killer is? Which one's the killer? Speak! Speak! I know he is not the killer. Master, just who is the killer? Wait. We will soon know.
puncture you. Thanks, Aliang. Who introduced you here? <laughs> Master, it was me brought him in here. How did you find out? Foxy you. I want you to forgive me. In another setting, I would like us to become good friends. But now, I think I must kill you. Hey, 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 hey,
Kali, you were right. You should not have become my friend. You died for me. But without friends, life has no meaning. Thank you.